Hi everyone, and thank you for attending this webinar. Uh, today we will be talking about rosacea. Uh, so before we start, maybe a little bit um, of background, of my own background. Uh, so who am I? And um, I will talk you through all the step-by-steps what will be um, talked about today. So uh, my name is Agi, Agi Singh from uh, Silesiana in Cleethorpes. Um, I am NBQ3 um, trained um, and level four in microneedling. And uh, we do specialize in vein, thread vein removals at Silesiana, uh, but also in um, rosacea protocols which are clinically proven. So uh, what I will do now, I will share my screen with you. Right, I hope you are able to see everything and you can see me here as well. <laughs> so uh, redness and rosacea as a chronic skin condition. So today we will be talking on what is rosacea as a chronic skin condition, the types of rosacea, um, causes of skin redness, how to prepare for consultation with your skincare professional, in-clinic treatments available, um, what are the best ingredients for rosacea skin, um, and a home care regimen. We will, if, we'll see how we get on with time. We have about 40, 45 minutes today. Um, if you will have any questions and we run out of time, you can always um, send me a message or um, email and I'm happy to answer all the queries. Um, so what is rosacea? Rosacea is a chronic inflammatory skin disorder that affects millions of people worldwide. Um, it's characterized by flushing redness and dry lesion around the center of the face. So usually it starts with very visible capillary network, um, usually around the cheek area. Um, and um, what is distinct for rosacea, it's that sort of like a red butterfly uh, visible on the cheeks and the nose area. So that's how um, we uh, see rosacea appearing on the first first size with flushing redness, a lot of capillaries visible on the skin. Um, what are the triggers of rosacea? So why, why we um, see rosacea happening more and more often? The main triggering factors are poor microcirculation. So um, we have to look, I always say that, I can't stress this enough, we have to look within our system. So the vascular alteration, for example, constant inflammation on, of the capillaries, temperature fluctuations. So, um, you know, some um, of my clients um, work in um, an environment when it's very cold and out of a sudden it gets warmer. So these temperature fluctuations aren't great for um, rosacea type clients um, and obviously wrong skin care which can cause a lot of damage to the skin, especially um, rosacea skin. Um, so what are the types of rosacea? Rosacea is not just um, one grade. Um, we can um, see at least five different grades of rosacea. So it's usually start with a mild uh, version where we can see a um, metallangiectasia rosacea called ETR. Um, the second grade, then another step, if not taken care um, as soon as possible, then it goes to a second grade, which is papillopusture rosacea. Uh, then we go into um, Fimatous rosacea, um, which is seen around the nose, um, ocular rosacea around the eye area, and granulomatous rosacea. So we'll start with uh, the mildest version that is usually seen um, at the start of rosacea. So as you can see here on the picture, um, you can see a little bit of redness around all these capillaries. Um, the capillary network is quite extend um, and um, a bit of purplish redness um, flushing erythema, visible blood, um, blood vessels. So that's how um, rosacea appears first. 
So this subtype of rosacea, so the telangiectasic rosacea, is the most common and mildest form of rosacea. It causes flushing um, and flat red patches on the face. It may also cause sensitivity to the skin with swelling, stinging, scaling or dryness. I see that all the time with my rosacea clients. They always complain on that dryness in the skin. If you have the mildest form of rosacea, which really presents with just red flat patches and sometimes a few um, blood vessels, um, then in salon combination treatments uh, would be recommended based on chemical peel, mesotherapy, vitamin cocktails, um, and obviously th thermavane, threat vein removal um, once rosacea has been calmed down. Uh, laser and light-based therapy do not cure rosacea, um, but regular session can help uh, reduce the flushing, the redness around the skin. So laser won't um, close the capillary vein, but it will definitely help with uh, the redness. Um, when it comes to prescription medication, um, two topical treatments for ATR are recommended, and that will be uh, brimomidine gel called Mirvaso, um, and oxymetazole cream. So these are topically used um, for more severe version of uh, telangiectasic rosacea, um, and which uh, cannot be controlled by lifestyle. So um, you try to remove the triggers that cause rosacea and uh, it's not working um, great. And this is the time where you should speak to your GP practitioner. Um, but these two um, gels, creams, they will use, uh, they will work topically only. So they will calm the skin, they will uh, calm the redness um, around the capillaries, but it's just temporary. So they uh, last for a couple of hours, up to 12 hours, and then the redness comes back. Um, the one which has longer lasting results, I will look into Solantra uh, based on the Ivermectin. So this is the good one to um, ask your GP practitioner um, to have that one prescribed if okay with your um, history, medical history. Um, the second grade of rosacea is the papula pustule rosacea. So as you can see here on the screen, uh, we have these pustules appearing around the redness and the capillary network. So this is something that, yes, the skin is suffering, um, it's crying out for help. Um, and uh, this is the second grade after telangiectasic rosacea. So this is how we can, and again, usually on the cheek area nose, um, this type of rosacea may, may cause flushing and other symptoms of telangiectasic rosacea, but it also features papules, pustules, or zits. Um, in fact, it is sometimes called acne rosacea, which I'm not a big fan of uh, calling it acne rosacea because it, it's not acne, it's rosacea. It's, it's a different thing to acne. Um, it might also cause oily skin and raised patches of skin. Because papular pustular rosacea is more severe than telangiectasic rosacea, the treatments might require more than just lifestyle changes. So slightly more aggressive creams and um, sometimes oral medication is a must. Uh, use of very, very low um, oral antibiotics uh, sometimes might help. And it's um, so low dose that it's no longer working as antibiotics. So your GP practitioner will know uh, which one to prescribe. Topical creams for papular pressurization include azelaic acid, uh, metron uh, metronidazole, uh, sodium sulfatamide, and retinoid as well. Um, so this was grade two rosacea. We are going now to um, grade three, which is ocular rosacea. So um, ocular rosacea is a very specific disorder. Um, so what we'll see in the client's skin, um, it will be very red around the eyes, um, visual, vis visible um, capillary network on the eyelids, around the eyes, but also the sort of bloodshot eyes. So look, the look of very watery red eyes um, constantly. 
which is not very pleasant. Um, this subtype of rosacea may cause similar symptoms of telangiectasic rosacea or papillopustule rosacea as well, but near and around the eye area. Um, it can cause red and watery eyes that are irritated, dry and sensitive to light. It often results in swollen eyelids that may be crusty and have cysts. Ocular rosacea can be dangerous since there is a risk of complication to vision. So it really, really um, is a must when it comes to ocular rosacea to see your um, medical practitioner. Uh, someone with ocular rosacea may benefit from um, similar treatments to telangiectasic rosacea or papillopustular rosacea, but they may also need to see an ophthalmologist. So the eye specialist might have to have a look at ocular rosacea and um, usually it requires topical antibiotics. When we come to a fourth grade of rosacea, uh, that's the type that um, happens around the nose area and is very common with male patients more than the females. So it's a fitness rosacea, it's a thickening of uh, the skin, um, and large pores and uneven surface usually on the nose area. So you can see here on the pictures that the skin on the nose is very large, very visible uh, pores on the nose. Um, so this is less common uh, type of rosacea, uh, may occur after years of another type of rosacea. So again, if we don't deal with the mildest form of rosacea and it just progresses into that advanced um, stage, which we don't really want um, because that Fimatus, the nose rosacea, um, cannot be uh, treated with um, topical product. Um, you'll have to go through the surgery um, to have it um, to have it removed. So I would really encourage you to seek out professional help uh, because we can really maintain your condition. And the final, uh, the final grade of rosacea. Here we go, is the granulomatous rosacea. So as you can see, it's perioral um, with all these little bumps here, um, a lot of redness around. Um, so that's the final stage of rosacea. Clinically granulomatous, granulomatous rosacea appears to be a distinctive papular form of rosacea, but is found primarily on the butterfly on perioral area. So it can still be seen not just on the perioral around the mouth area, but also it can appear on your cheeks and on forehead as well. But it's just more common as a perioral. These discrete papules may appear as yellowish to brown hard nodules um, on dioscopy tests. So dioscopy test is where we um, where we press the clear glass onto the skin um, and, and then you will see this yellowish brown um, papules on the skin accompanied by erythemia, so a lot of redness. Uh, the size of the lessons might vary and may be present at other areas as well on the body, not just on our face. Uh, pathogenesis. So why this? Um, why this is a problem? Why this is um, seen so often? Because over many many years in practice, I've seen rosacea um, every day. Every day in my clinic, um, we deal with rosacea clients. So it's usually uh, due to congested pores. Um, so when the pores are very visible on the skin and they become clogged with anything, any moisturizers, makeup, pollution, um, your pores can become easily clogged. And then if not cleansed on a regular basis, 
uh, clogged pore might be a cause of a lot of telangiectasia around the skin, and then that might lead into um, rosacea in the future. Uh, so any trauma to the skin, trauma in a sense, for example, I always ask my clients if they're allergic to, for example, pollen, um, and they are quite often sneeze in the tissue and just keep rub that area of the nostrils, that is trauma to the skin. And that's how capillaries might appear on the skin and again lead to rosacea. Also impaired lymphatic system, as you know, lymphatic system and circulatory system are hand in hand two system. They just work in synergy together. So um, the blood circulates with vitamins and nutrients, minerals, and then lymphatic system helps to get rid of all the um, bad guys, toxins. And if that is impaired, then it will have effect on our skin. Um, UV overexposure, I always cannot stress this enough. Uh, stay protected, use UV, um, UVA, broad spectrum UVA, UVB protection every day, even on a rainy day. There is a lot of UVA going on, so have your skin protected all the time and even double layer, especially when there is pigmentation on the skin, chronic rosacea, chronic inflammatory on the skin, have that double layer. So your SPF, you should go with your SPF like water. Uh, so also poor diet choices and alcohol. Alcohol is a big one here uh, as it will dilute the blood in the vessels and making them very visible on our skin and also poor diet choices. So if there's not enough nutrients, minerals in your everyday um, diet, then obviously that will all affect our skin. So I always ask for supplements as well, like um, vitamin D, vitamin C, or omega-3. Omega-3 is such an amazing um, supplement when it comes to calming down um, inflammation in the skin. So if you're not sure what is the difference between omega-3 and 6, um, omega-3 is there to take the inflammation down, lower it down, and omega-6 is pro-inflammatory. Why? Because sometimes we do uh, need inflammation in our skin uh, system, uh, especially when, it, when we get hurt, when we hurt our skin, when we hurt our body, and we need that inflammation to kickstart the repair process of our skin um, and uh, system. So therefore, it's very important to always have it on a good level, omega-3 to omega-6, about one-on-one. -on -one. So um, nowadays, there is so much of omega-6 in our diet, which are pro-inflammatory. So that's it's a good idea to take omega-3, good quality oil, um, kept in the fridge, drunk every day, um, and it will bring the inflammation, especially with the chronic uh, skin disorders. Medication, different types of medication can have an effect on our skin. Also, antibiotic, antibiotics, so prolonged use of antibiotics will have effect on our capillaries and skin barrier dysfunction. So as we know, our acid mantle layer, protective layer on the skin is made of water, oils, um, to keep it healthy. So it's important to have it always nourished, protected, uh, moisturized, protected from the UV radiation, but also stay hydrated from within. Take your uh, minerals um, on a daily basis because that's what we are made of. Minerals, water, good fatty acid, good oils to stay healthy. Let me just double check on the time. Um, so um, consultation and treatment, uh, what do we do in clinic to um, maintain rosacea? Because rosacea is a chronic skin disorder, you have to understand that. It's not curable, but we can maintain uh, by working together in synergy. So the aim uh, of in-salon treatment is to reduce capillary fragility, improve the blood flow, um, because as you know, with blood flow, we get all the nutrients to that particular area and combat inflammation. 
So there are two types of treatments. We can have a standard treatment or we can have intense treatment. So what we do here, we work on um, inostatics uh, and they have just amazing, amazing regimen when it comes to um, tackle rosacea. So um, we use chemical pills, which we'll go in details in a minute. And we do mesotherapy as well with all the right cocktails for your skin to bring the inflammation down. And obviously you're going home with a nice gel, a gentle cleanser um, with a good home care regimen and um, SPF protection. So, um, so you're safe at home and you're keeping maintaining the results um, from in the clinic. So when it comes to a treatment in a salon, uh, we start with redness peel. Now, this is a chemical peel, uh, but nothing that will um, cause irritation to your skin. We know rosacea is a very specific chronic skin disorder and need a special, uh, special treatment. So it regulates the skin micro uh, circulation, reducing inflammation and vascular spiders, provides an even and a radiant complex because that's what we aiming for, to have that radiant, nice glow on the skin. Combination of specific actives at precise concentration. And I have to say that again, precise concentration uh, to restore the proper conditions of the skin barrier. So this is all about achieving your healthy skin barrier. Uh, it shrinks blood vessels, reduces inflammation and boosts skin radiance and luminosity. Now, what that redness peel contains? So let's talk about the actives. Um, so you will see in our redness peel, you'll see lactic acid, salicylic acid, mandelic acid, and something special here for an aesthetic smart GPS system. Um, so lactic acid is a type of alpha hydroxy acid. There are a few different types. So there's alpha hydroxy acid, beta hydroxy acid, and the new generation of polyhydroxy acids. So the lactic acid is part of alpha HAs, alpha hydroxy acid, and is derived from sour milk sugar molecule. And it's used for the mildest, most gentle, as a mildest, most gentle chemical peel. Lactic acid has quite a um, big molecule um, in comparison to other, for example, glycolic acid, um, and therefore it's more gentle to the skin. Um, it has an extra benefit you won't get from other HA. It will improve your skin's natural moisture factor. Uh, so especially when my rosacea clients complain on the dryness effect on their skin, that's a um, great product um, to, to use lactic acid to keep yourself hydrated. Basically, lactic acid helps to keep the skin moisturized and feel less dry. The second active will be salicylic acid. So we always ask for allergies as well. If you're not allergic to um, salicylic acid, then you're good to go with the treatment. Salicylic acid is part of beta hydroxy acids. And it's usually derived from willow bark, sweet birch, or with wintergreen leaves. Um, however, salicylic acid can also be synthesized artificially in the lab. Salicylic acid is lipid soluble agents, um, the opposite to alpha hydroxy acid. Um, so it's great to uh, decrease that um, secretion of sebum. So with rosacea skins, usually there is a, quite a lot of uh, serum production and salicylic acid is great too, as it will dissolve in, within oils. Um, it's, it, it has great anti-inflammatory properties as well as antimicrobial and antifungal as well. Um, so it will sort of also break that semen when you have two cells it will break that cement in between cells, will loosen it up and it will nicely exfoliate from the skin. Um, the third active is mandelic acid. So we have lactic, salicylic, mandelic acid. Um, it's derived from bitter almonds, one of the largest AHA as a molecule size. And as a result, it 
penetrates the skin at a slower rate. Um, this makes it less irritating to the skin, so it will sort of work on the surface of the skin. Using skincare products containing mandelic acid helps regulate that sebum production as well, same as azelaic acid, and clog pores and reduce that inflammation. Now, very uh, interesting ingredient here, a smart GPS technology. What is smart GPS? Smart guidance performance system. It's an innovative controlled release system encapsulated active ingredients. So all the active ingredients are encapsulated and delivered at the released when needed in cell groups where it's more effective. So they are protected until needed the most within your skin and then released. So this is what's great about the GPS technology. Now, the second part of the treatment, because as I said, we start with chemical peel to then follow up with mesotherapy, which can be done at the same session or it can be done in intervals. So you can start with chemical peels. The following week, we can move on to mesotherapy, then go back to chemical peel and so on and so on. Or we could have intensive treatment where we start with chemical peel and at the se same session, we'll follow up with mesotherapy therapy. Uh, treatment for facial redness, redness ID by Inosthetics and Cooper's Prone Skin. It regulates skin microcirculation and strengthens the skin defense, just preventing the formation of pelangiectasias and reducing inflammation triggered by endogen and exogen factors. Again, rosacea has to be, um, has to be treated from outside and from inside, endogen and exogen. What are the actives in our mesotherapy cocktail? So we'll see rutin and melilotus. Melilotus is a sweet clover in the simple words. It's a plant known to improve the blood circulation and reduce pain. Again, with better blood circulation, there will be more vitamins, minerals, going into that needed area. Um, rutin is a bioflavonoid, vitamin P, known as vitamin P or plant pigment that is found in certain vegetables and fruits. Rutin and many lotus extract solution prevents vitamin C from being destroyed in the body due to oxidation. And we know vitamin C is very important to uh, tackle um, anti uh, to tackle free radicals. So while simultaneously combine, combating collagen loss, um, it is also used to improve local circulation. As you know, vitamin C is always needed to uh, boost that collagen production in the skin. Um, also niacinamide uh, is known as vitamin B3 or nicotinamide and is stable, low molecular, molecular weight water and alcohol soluble vitamin that penetrates um, the stretching corneum, the outermost layer of the skin. It is effective for oil control and to increase the ceramides level. So the ceramides that actually protect our skin, our acid mantle on the skin. It is an effective treatment for acne, dermatitis, and rosacea. It inhibits inflammation, therefore reducing post-acne erythemia. So that redness on the skin. Also, dexpanthenol, B-complex vitamins, um, part of uh, the cocktail. Just double check on the time. Okay, so we'll just go through with uh, with all these uh, in um, brief. And also Castella Asiatica uh, tones down the inflammation, similar to other active ingredients. It also has anti uh, antibacterial and antifungal agents. So with rosacea, what we want to do, we want to calm down the erythemia, the redness, uh, and we want to have that antibacterial effect at all the time. 
So when it comes to a home care regimen, uh, after you complete your um, treatments in salon, um, we do a follow up at home. So for a minimum of three months, um, the daily routine includes a soft cleanser, a cream that effectively helps to prevent and control skin redness on the skin and cuppers as well, and broad spectrum sunscreen SPF 50. When I say broad spectrum, it means it will protect you from the UVA radiation, which causes aging, uh, on, and the UVB, which um, causes pigmentation, and it's not very helpful when it comes to rosacea either. So you want to keep yourself protected all the time. And I like to add also Cliniprep, which is antimicrobial spray to use a couple of times a day and to have that skin clean, but without the effect of dryness, no alcohols. Um, results. So here we have we have a clinically proven results when it comes to um, uh, chronic skin disorders. I always anyway I always like to have clinical um, skin uh, pictures taken before and after as a proof that this treatment works um, when it's follow up uh, precisely. So as you can see the first picture here. Mm, that, that is a first form of telangiectasic rosacea and post care uh, treatment in clinic and post care will be seen with beautiful results. That's the second client, again, rosacea around the cheeks, nose, and chin as well. And that's post treatment in salon and at home. So the results prevent capillary fragility. This is the main um, concern as well to make your capillaries stronger and less fragile, protect the vascular endothelium. So the, uh, the layer of the, uh, of the blood vessels improve skin blood flow with better blood flow, as I mentioned earlier, better vitamins, better mineral minerals coming into the area, effectively combats inflammation, strengthens the extracellular matrix, improves the skin barrier condition, maintains hydration, especially when you complain on the dry skin, repairs unhealthy skin. And again, can't stress that enough when it comes to chronic skin disorders, look within as well. So stay hydrated, make sure you have your supplements um, on hand. And um, if there are no contraindications, do take your good quality fish oil or your omega-3. If you're a vegetarian, there are uh, options for you as well. Um, I do know some vegetarians that are actually taking the omega-3 because it's just so good for your system and just to combat the inflammation. Um, well, uh, just to sum up uh, here today, uh, we are great in time uh, to get that wow, I almost didn't recognize your effects result. It's essential to build resilience into your skin with the exact right blend of actives, hydration, botanicals, vitamins, antioxidants, SPF and more. If that sounds like a science degree, you don't have to worry. We are here professionals in the salon. Uh, we don't, um, we have done all the hard work for you, uh, which is a sweet relief after you have spent years of um, looking for products, trying different products, and maybe, you know, having a, a negative result on your skin. And um, before you start giving up on your chronic skin diseases, disorders, uh, speak to your professional and have that plan um, in place and um, take it from there. We know flare-ups caused by rosacea aren't fun. Bumpy red skin is so hard to cover up and especially when we start covering up with makeup, we start clogging the pores and it's just like a vicious circle. So we don't want to go that route. Uh, we want to have a, a productive plan in place. By staying on top of your skincare, avoiding triggers and seeking the help of authorized treatment provider, which we are here at Silesiana Clitorps, you are on the way to getting your skin back under control. Give your skin what it needs to stay balanced so you can get back and enjoy your life. Um, 
I hope that was um, good information for you today. And, and again, if you have any question, I'll just stop sharing my screen now. Um, if you have any questions um, regarding rosacea, but not just acne, any chronic skin conditions, disorders, um, then we are here at Silesiana, 16 Osborne Street in Cleethorpes. Um, follow our website, www silesiana.co.uk and you will find um, a lot of information there on the system, how to preserve treatment, how to book your consultation. Um, so I hope that was helpful and um, I will see you soon at another webinar. Take care guys.